This is Munar, a hill station covered in stunning tea plantations, high up in the Kerala mountains in the south of India. Almost touching the Tamil Nadu border, this beautiful part of the world represents the hardworking and industrious nature of India and its people. <laughs> India refers to Kerala as God's own country, a phase coined by the local tourism board, but a phase that truly describes what you see on your way to Munar as you cut through the mountain ranges, waterfalls, quaint chai stalls almost hidden in the lush greenery and a landscape that is so visually perfect it looks like it was designed this way on purpose. This is absolutely stunning. This is Rishab. What we thought was going to be a normal hotel collaboration quickly turned into a true friendship when we arrived in the hotel his family owns, the Panoramic Getaway. Being greeted with genuine warmth and hospitality in an incredible beautiful setting is something you dream about as a traveller. He was going to personally take us to his favourite places as a local in this stunning paradise location in India. So we got some sleep and woke up the next morning excited to see what could be experienced in Munar, Kerala. All right, good morning to you. We are on the way to see more of Muna this morning. So tell me the plan for today. Today we're definitely gonna go see some tea gardens. Today you're gonna see the best views you've seen, in my opinion. I'm from you, so yeah. Even just driving now, it is absolutely stunning. Yeah. And coming in last night, it got a bit dark on the way in, so we missed the best part, I think. But seeing it today looks absolutely beautiful. It's not even started yet. So, so you can see them just working up there in the tea plantation already. I do have a favorite one, but he <laughs> opens in the afternoon. Oh, so, okay. Our fingers crossed he's open. If he's open, I'm taking you there. Good, your favorite chai. Yeah, my favorite <laughs> chai. And I like black tea. People in Manar prefer black tea. Right. Um, but obviously milk chai is really nice as well. Yeah. So we put a bit of cardamom in it. Yes. And then it tastes super nice. Wow. There's a nice waterfall there. There's not much water. Not as much water. You should come in the monsoon. It's just a really pleasant drive up here. Tea gardens. Look at that. This is a really old dam called Headworks, Headworks Dam. Munar basically is three rivers. Moon is three and Aru is rivers. So oh. Munar is the meeting point of three rivers. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the small little history lesson for today. <laughs> cow. 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 Cow break. Munar is also known for elephants, yeah? Really? Yeah. So this dam we're going to, it's called Elephant Abode in English. Yeah. It's Ana Erangel in Malayalam. So Ana Erangel means Ana coming down okay. to drink water. Basically, Munar town is just shops. Me personally, I would stay away from the town. It's not like other tourist places where you want to be in the city yeah. center. Yeah. All the nice hotels. Mm. Like yours? <laughs> <laughs> are, are away from town. Perfect. And you can always come to town, do your shopping, or and then go back to your nice hotel with the nice views. Wait, so hold on. Say that again? <laughs> you should always bargain with your tip-tip. Thank you. Yeah. So everyone getting mad at me in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to replay that one more time. You should always bargain. We're going to go through a lot of tea gardens. So this okay. road is called Gap Road for everybody watching. And you should 100% come here. And the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's absolutely beautiful. It looks like a postcard. Like it doesn't look real. Those hills. It's crazy. Okay, so we just got out of the car for a second because the view here is so stunning. And look, you've got all of these workers here with like their hats protecting them from the sun. Actually using hand tools. Whoa. So they collect Oh, they it. are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they collect it into these sacks that's behind them. Whoa! Yeah. And then in the evenings they come and weigh it out and a tractor comes and then collects all the tea and then they take it to a tea factory Whoa. for processing. The workers here actually yeah. live in this little city that's down there in each plantation, did exactly. you say, has its own little sort of city that has medical for the, all the workers and exactly. everything like that. Education as well. Wow, cool. Yeah. When we were hanging out with Harry, he told me that the cows are called Gai in Hindi, but in what is it? In Malayalam. It's called Pashu. Pashu. Yeah, Pashu. Pashu. The cows are Pashu. I like that one more actually. Pashu is kind of cute, no? It is, yeah. yeah. Pashu. Pashu. Yeah. <laughs> That's and the best part. You actually turned on perfect time. Look at this. Oh, you're oh. right. <gasps> Oh. 
So this drive up this part is, count how many times I say it doesn't look real, but it doesn't look real. Okay, so we have stopped at one of these like lookout points sort of, we're the only ones here, which is awesome. But the view from here is absolutely insane. This is probably my favorite so far, but we're about five minutes from the first chai stop, which you know I'm excited about. But I just want to sit here for a couple of seconds or minutes and kind of just take in this view. This is the most beautiful place I've seen in India. This is amazing. Hi! <laughs> chai is Hindi, yeah. Chaya is Malayalam. Okay, we have lots of Chaya today. <laughs> We've stopped at our first stop, it's just one on the side of the road here. My first tea from obviously the tea plantation, so I'm really excited. But this is beautiful. You have your tea back here, you have your road, hello, <laughs> and then you have, wait for it, wait for it this <sighs> I tell you if there's one place I would like to have a chai and sit and drink my cha chaya it would be here <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> you don't like spicy stuff don't like right so basically I was asking whether he can uh, grill it the grilled ones are the best yeah this one's just corn. boiled not spicy though right yeah no, not masala. spicy yeah, cool, <laughs> how, how do you say that Chada or no? Sweet corn. We don't have Malayalam on the corn milk. Cholam. Cholam is the Malayalam. In a Hindi, it's na milchi nahi chahiye. That's in Hindi. Oh, okay. You want, you want <laughs> I already milchi. learned how to say. No, no, it's uh, okay, I don't okay. want spice. You don't want spice? Eduvu. Eduvu. Venda. 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 Yeah, Eduvu is Edivu. spicy. Yeah. Venda means I don't want Venda. That. Yeah, that's basically the same thing. Yeah, Eduvu, yeah. Venda. And again, we have UPI. Very handy. Best thing ever. The best thing ever? Best thing ever. You don't have to carry cash with you. Especially if you're on the side of the road like this. We can't do it. We don't have the right bank account, but uh -huh. it's such a good way to pay. It's super helpful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, that's tea. your black one? Yeah, that's my and black the one. Two the two thank you. <laughs> How do I say thank you? Nanni. 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 <laughs> I yeah. told you oh, you'd be teaching me some yeah, language yeah, yeah. while we're here. 100%. Yeah. Bread omelette. Yeah, okay. it's like bread dipped in egg. A French toast basically, but a local version of a French toast. I think you like it's that. It's a hill station <laughs> thing. Oh, I'm excited. I love that. We'll do one more thing, yeah. which is like super local. Mm -hmm. It's called, this is a tongue twister. Okay. Param puri. Param. 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 Yeah, the people can't, can't get the ra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so param is this, banana. Param. And puri means to fry it. But, oh, yeah. So it's banana. a fried banana, banana fritters. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So we did have that, but it wasn't fresh. We're gonna get one fresh. Okay, then yeah, I'll try yeah. it. Super Kerala thing. It's super local to Kerala. So a chai and parambari. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which I don't know. Fresh. Oh, that's good. It's good. Yeah, it's probably the sweetest one I've had. Yeah. But it's really good. It sweet. Wow, it's so smooth. And it's always 99% local tea. Is that where it's from? Yeah. The leaves? So this is Talayar Estate. Talayar Estate? This is an estate that we're gonna see ahead when we go to the dam. Oh, is that where these are from? Yeah, and that's the tea that they use. <laughs> yeah. We have the actual tea. Yeah. It's a local one. Yeah, this is more local. Than and it's really good. Yeah. This is cool. This is the tea it's from the here. Water. Probably over there somewhere. Yeah, uh, this is for some tea from oh. where we came from. Okay, yeah. over there somewhere. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Yeah. Thank you. This looks so good. It's like um, it's, French toast. Yeah, it is basically the same ethos. It's not as sweet. And this is famous in the hill stations. Bread with egg. Oh, I love egg. <laughs> oh, it's really hot actually. Hold on. Ah, it's burning me. It's basically two bits of bread sandwiched with like this omelette, this like egg omelette. Mm. <laughs> Mm. It's good. Mm hmm. Like eggs on toast, but fluffier and a little bit more tasty. <laughs> it's like savory French toast. Mm -hmm. I like it. One more time. We never stop with one usually. So I'm going to try this corn. It's literally just boiled corn, so there's nothing really on it. There's corn. I like corn. Thank you. Oh, sorry. He's inviting me in so I can have a look at how they make, make it. Thank you. Oh, all the way in here. Oh, that's the banana. 
So you got banana and yeah. what's the... That's like a batter. A batter. Uh, yeah, yeah, batter, yeah. It's, but it's a favorite tea time snack. Like 4 p.m., 4, 4, 30. You we have tea. tea yeah. <laughs> we have tea and tea time snack. So. Whoa. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> How do I say thank you again? Nangni. 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 <laughs> round two of chai. Yeah, round two. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Even though this is a collaboration with the hotel, Rishab has been amazing. Like it's like hanging out with a friend all day. It's hot on the inside, <laughs> but the crispy batter on the outside. We love fried bananas. Sweet, cause bananas are sweet. I love sweet. Tea break. Yeah. yeah. So you should come here, they're really nice. Tea break. Tea break, Munar. Very nice chai. Chaya. 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 <laughs> Thank you. I'm full now though, so, oh, but always room for more chai. So if there's more chai, there I'm happy with it. Oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> This is uh, Pachamanga. Pachamana. Mangoes, that's not fully ripe. So Pacha means mango. Green, 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 green yeah. and mana means mango. Manga. Manga. Yes. Oh, it's like really thin. Yeah. It's like a thin. Oh, it's like, it's like sour. It is sour. <laughs> it's not fully ripe. Okay, it's not my favorite. I'll okay, tell you that much. Okay. I love it's, the honesty. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'm always honest. Yeah. Not my favorite, but. You know I'll what Indian more. people usually do? What? We put salt. And chili powder, like oh, raw chili powder. I on can't it. do chili. Yeah, it's like pickled almost, right? <laughs> it's not pickled. It's like natural. <laughs> if you let it not ripen, you want water? Let me try it. If it's good, it's sour. But yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's different good. taste for different folks. Onwards to our chai. <laughs> I know I keep saying it's beautiful, but this is absolutely stunning. You can stop. There's lots of places to stop, like on the side here, so you can take like every single part that you see in. Yeah, I just thought I'd tell you that we're stopped yet again on the side of the road, cause this. Whoa. You'll see like elephants come from the forest. So behind, you see that island kind of thing where the trees are? Oh uh, yeah, I see it. But That's where the elephants roam around. Oh! Yeah. Fun fact, elephants are pregnant for two years. Oh, did you know that? There yeah. you go. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. So this is where Rishab and I drove on the road while Michael flew the drone. But as we drove back, we noticed he wasn't alone. While we were gone, a tall local man with a large knife had emerged from the tea plantations and shouted at Michael in a local language. So Michael decided to show the man his drone screen and luckily a friendship was formed. It turns out a famous, large, angry, dangerous elephant was spotted a kilometer from the location Michael was standing. This is very notorious elephant. Oh! oh so guy. creating a lot of issues here in yeah. this part of the Does place. it like destroy things? Yeah. Not just things, yeah. people. Don't people rubber snake. Yeah. 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 Oh, so he know, okay. you know what's out there? Yeah, either, either he, he's saying it's okay. Okay. These guys are here right now, trying to catch it. Catch it. Yeah, yeah. 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 dangerous. He's very dangerous. Yeah. On the the Full, yeah. one day, yeah. just people. full. Yeah. Adi Komben is his name. He's pretty notorious. Yes. Adi, Adi Komben? Adi, Adi Komben. Adi so Komben. You, 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 rice. He said rice, rice right? Me, rice, rice, rice. Rice. So that elephant's favorite food is rice. Rice. Uh, big, good, white, triangle. Really big. Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> maybe. Can you see? You can eat opposite me. They mel. Top, top me. Tata tea work. Tata tea work. Lever. 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 Okay, okay. Yenge, yenge. Yenge. Okay. He lives in one of those towns. Oh, yeah. We took it over. Oh, yeah. He's saying the oh, elephant no, came to tell. his house where <gasps> he lives. Oh, wow. Night. Yeah. yeah. At night time? Yeah, ma'am. So Very dangerous serious. place. Uh, uh, my baby. My, uh, oh, your baby. Uh, my yeah. baby. <gasps> We're not. I have a friend who um, speaks Tamil Nadu at home. She was sending me voice notes trying to teach me how to speak. Uh, I didn't know I'd need it today, so. <laughs> Tamil's hard. But Tamil and Malayalam are very similar. Right. Yeah. Like Hindi and Punjabi were quite similar, exactly. so it was easy to exactly. learn the difference. Thoda thoda malme. Thoda thoda malme. Turi turi. Little bit. Hindi thoda malme. Turi turi. Yeah. Thoda thoda malme. This local man that Michael met when he was flying the drone is now going to take us into this tea plantation here. First hand experience. We're super lucky to have him. Yes. With us. So Tell him I said thank you. Yeah, Allah, you get to Thanks, Thanks. 
Look at that. I'm pretty cool. Pa pa bike da ipo varra dinge. This is super hard to translate. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people telling me to go up that mountain. Up that mountain. So that's the one that you climb it like early early, early to see the early, sunrise yeah. and it's right it's right there. Have to hurry, Jay. Yeah, you come up to the base camp. Yeah. Then there are lots of jeeps there. Right. Jeep, yeah, private, 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 private jeep. Private property. Private property. Yeah. yeah. How so much is a jeep? Government government apuru ne. Yetna or jeep price yetna? Oh, it's just so nice. Obviously, don't trespass and obviously get permission, but <laughs> it's really cool to have the opportunity to be able to walk through here. Oh, and yeah. that's your name. Yeah. yeah. How do I say it again? Ganesha is the Gane god. And Ganesha. His name is Ganesan. 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 Elephant. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a Hindu god. Thank you so much. Yeah, That's lovely. So yeah. lovely to meet you. Malayalam is Nanni. In yeah. Tamil, it's Nandri. Nandri. means elephant and yeah. rang means to come down come down so yeah. the elephants come down to the dam yeah. <laughs> so I was also wondering about the um, traditional dress that the men have on yeah. so what was that what was that called again it's called a lungi <laughs> Photo video to come in. So they wear this outfit. So I was like complimenting him. You look like a movie star. Oh, yeah, it's straight from the movie. <laughs> Can I show them? Isn't it right? Yeah, yeah. They, they said you're, you're good. good thank filming. you. It yeah. looks good. Oh, thank really you. Uh, traditional. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Must be nice and breezy. <laughs> a bit lighter. Good airflow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can do things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can fall like this. Yeah. This is how they oh, do I've it seen that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, when it's down, it's formal. Yeah. Right. That's okay. Informal. Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for those who need a translation, that's two ways of wearing it. Two ways of yeah, wearing so it. You can leave it. My name's Josie. Josie. Yeah. Josie, it's a two meter uh, cloth. So it's really long. Uh, yeah. Wow. Two okay. Meter cloth. And do the different colors mean anything, yeah. or is it? We can design. get from the design. Do you design? Okay. Type of designs we can get from the market. Right. Okay. So you just pick your favorite so, one. So like this gentleman's okay. color matched, you know? Oh, true. Yeah. Blue and blue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> okay. So they just like the colors, which is cool. That's Thank you so much. Thank you if for you having a chat. Know, we can take a photo of it. Oh, I would love to. Is that That's all right? Good. Yeah. You gonna take a photo? Yeah. So we're just looking at the um at the dam now, and apparently it's meant to be, or oh, it is normally like higher tide, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? A boat? That's a boat. Yeah. That's a speed boat. Whoa. So you, if you want to try doing that, you can. I have a really big fear of water, and Mum used to go under the like she used to go down. <laughs> Dana, the jaws team from the jaws oh, and then man. and then should go under the water and grab my feet and pull me down so after taking in the dam and meeting the friendly men in their lungies the temperature rose and we drove to some cold coconuts so we're on the way back but we're getting a bit thirsty for a coconut so we're gonna grab one of these hi hi my name hi <laughs> We're strong. Yes, yeah, strong. strong. <laughs> you can see how you have to be quite strong to cut it too. We can. Oh. Whoa. So oh, thank you. Yeah. We'll get a straw Stra for you. Straw, 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 straw. Yeah. straw. Boom. Thank you. Boom, boom. There you go. Film Got it. The camera. Yeah. <laughs> so That's a bit easier. Come on, filming duty. Oh, oh, so good. Good. It's good for you, right? It is. Mm. Loud electrolytes. Mm. Very healthy. And nat it's like natural. 100%. I like it. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're good at that. Not too bad, is it? <laughs> After you're drawn, drinking the water, we'll cut it open yeah. and then you get to eat. eat oh, malai. Eat is it called malai? Malai is what you get on milk. It's just tender coconut. Tender coconut. The yeah. white bit, right? The, the white bit the inside. Mi They'll scrape it. Yes. Yeah, cool. It's super tasty. <laughs> I like your dress. 
I like uh, all this. This is nice. Ingarda Veno. And he he is a documentary maker. Oh no way! So he would love if you can like give him a two second bite for his documentary. Yeah. Well. I have a travel YouTube channel. It's like Muna especially. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite parts of India. So. Okay, so I've been in a documentary. I've drunk a coconut. <laughs> what a great day this is, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna grab the like meat from the inside. So we're just scooping it out like that. Whoa. All the meat. Coconut meat. Thank you. Do I just eat it with my hand? Yeah. It's okay. The best oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, soft. Yeah. It kind of tastes like squid, but better. Mm -hmm. Like, you, oh, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like squid. I've never heard yeah. of squid thing, yeah. Calamari. Like, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. texture, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Delicious. You. <laughs> Amazing. I think that's uh, some more cows or something grazing down there. It just looks so beautiful. What a place to have a coconut. Let's get going. So we have stopped one last time on the way back. This is his favorite chai shop. Sorry if the other chai shop sees this. I don't know if I've said this. Everyone who is saying the south of India is beautiful, I totally believe you now. It is peaceful, it's beautiful, it's green, it's lush. So we're getting black tea this time. Yes, okay. black tea. Special, That's your favorite. Special black tea, my favorite. Okay. My favorite in Munnar. He's the best, he's super friendly. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe medium, not sweet yeah. for me. Medium, 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 medium. Yeah. Whatever you like. Yeah, I don't even say he just makes it, I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Nice. This is super zoomed in on my face, but that's okay. Do you want to unzoom it? Mm hmm. Which way? That way. That's nice. How do I say, like, delicious or like tasty? Super. <laughs> no, in like, in like what? Adi Poli. 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 He's not gonna let me go with just one. With just one. Yeah. Thank you. you want me to go. No, I'm okay. Thank you so much. I'm full of tea today. <laughs> All right, we are back on the road to the hotel now. We have had chai, food, everything. Let's go. We've come back to the beautiful hotel and we're gonna have like a but a meal then i'm gonna show you the room and just the facilities of the hotel staying in a place like this in the hills is actually more of what you should do if you're planning to come here oh yum so which one's spicy <laughs> chicken roast roast chicken and super i love poppers <laughs> i missed the name of it do you know what it's called okay i went out <laughs> chatty churu churu chatty churu, churu. churu. yeah this one. So we have this bowl full of the egg, the chicken, that's roast uh, deep fried chicken, banana chips. Oh yeah, banana chips. We have the brownie, we have the butter chicken. We have all these different ah, hot, ah, hot spices with this rice. This rice is fluffy. This one is the special to Corella. All right, I'm gonna check these sauces. Oh yeah, it's spicy. Ooh. Oh yeah, my butt. <coughs> oh, okay, I don't really like that one. Yeah, okay. That means it's spicy when I get hiccup. <laughs> That's what happens when I eat chili. <laughs> I have no words for how good that is. Really? Really? Really. Everything on this plate's good. The flavor of the food itself is actually really nice. I tasted all the different like, but also not just chili spices, like spices, <laughs> like herbs and spices and everything like that. I tasted all of them in there. That is a great butter chicken. <laughs> That's why it was so spicy because there's these, I thought they were just greens, but they're chilies, like full, Whole chilies. I think I've eaten it. So as I think I said early on, this is a family owned 
hotel. We have got hospitality above and beyond from Rishab and he's given us all of his time today um, which obviously wouldn't happen for every guest I understand that but the owner of the hotel personally showed us around where he grew up in his hometown. We are definitely loving the south just like you guys in the comments told us we would so make sure you do leave comments we read them and we saw that we had to come to the south we saw that we had to come to Corella. And standing here with a view like this from somewhere we're staying is absolutely incredible. We are going to show you a bit more of the hotel now, a bit more of our room, so let's get stuck into that. Okay, we're just leaving and he told me to try this because it's a dessert. <laughs> I don't know, I taste brown sugar or something. What is that? It's so good. Gingerbread man. Gingerbread plus like brown sugar. We are going to show you the room here. So we're staying at the Panoramic Getaway in Muna, obviously. It's a gifted stay, so we've been gifted the couple of nights that we stayed here. But I do actually highly recommend it. I'm going to show you just a couple of different room options as well later on after the tour. Obviously, you might think this room is beautiful, but it might be out of your price range, which is totally fair. It was gifted to me. So this is the lounge room. You walk into the lounge room. A couple of chairs. You have a lounge really big space to sort of move around in this is my congrats on 200k little plaque that they left for me when we got here how cute obviously each room is going to be a little bit different but we have a little bar with all of your necessities you've got water you've got tea coffee and you've got a what i find essential a big very cold fridge in there too so to have such a large place to work i edit here and then these open up into this beautiful natural light you can press the button and these open up fully on their own and then if you come over here i'll leave the bathroom till last but here you have the bedroom area so we've obviously been staying here so we've got bags around and all my camera gear the beautiful bed and i must say one of the most comfortable beds that we've stayed in so far and i'm not just saying that I find it hard to get out of there in the morning. <laughs> this room in particular opens out straight up onto the family or communal pool. There's another pool upstairs, which is an adults only. A really cool little balcony that we have that opens up and takes you straight out onto the pool there. TV at the end of the bed. We've been hooking it up and watching Netflix. <laughs> the bathroom, this is killer. So you walk in, first of all, it's massive, but you have this massive full length mirror, which is Really cool. Hi, that's me. And then you have two sinks, which for me and Michael is essential. I mean, most hotels give you this, but you got little things in case you forget stuff. Hair dryer as well, which is not in every hotel, let me tell you that. Some, but not all of them. A toilet in this little room behind us. Quite a strange thing to say, but it smells so good because they have all of these like oil diffusers and things up here. Rainfall shower. And then my favorite part, you walk up these stairs to this bath. You can sit in here and just watch the hills of Muna. The sunset at night times sets just there. So we have this room obviously gifted to us, but they have the premium suite or the premium deluxe suite as well, which I think is even better than this room, expecting that to be um, very luxurious. And then you also have one that is under a hundred dollars US a night, which is obviously a very affordable option. We travel and that's roughly how much we have to spend at some places anyway to be able to get a decent room so it's actually really high quality for such an affordable room as well it's actually really nice <laughs> it's one of the nicest places we've stayed in at that price it'll be the best view i've ever seen for a hundred bucks or under a hundred dollars so there's one more thing that i find really cool i can basically control the whole room from next to my bed with this so you have the fans you have the painting you have a reading light chandelier on ready so the other really cool thing that you can do at the hotel is watch the beautiful sunset. They have a sunset, like, what's it called? The sunset point? Yeah, when you can go down some stairs and it gives you like the perfect view to look at this sunset. I sat out here on the courtyard of a panoramic getaway, taking in the vast valleys of Munar, reflecting on my amazing day in this magical place and waited for the famous sunset. For us, it was still beautiful, but not quite as beautiful as this sunset scene the very next night after we left, sent through from Rishab. While here, I thought about how the hospitality was some of the best we have experienced in over a year on the road. But the best feature of this place is the stunning views that you really can't truly appreciate until you come and stay here. We made our way down to the hotel's underground restaurant and devoured some seriously special food. Since landing in India, I have been welcomed, fed, smiled at, and amazed at the beauty and history around every corner. If you enjoyed this video, you should click on the video on the screen right now to see us explore more of this area in India. See you in the next one.